from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. A portrait photograph is a window, a point of entry into another person's history. When we look at a portrait photograph, questions come to mind. Who was that? What mattered to that person in life? This portrait is a photograph of Freeman Mason, an 18-year-old Vermont farmer. Freeman entered the American Civil War in September of 1864. Freeman Mason holds a photo of his brother, Michael Mason, who enlisted three years before him and who died in battle in 1862. Freeman followed his brother in death on March 12, 1865, just under one month before the Confederate surrender at Appomattox. Today, Freeman Mason's portrait has joined those of hundreds of other soldiers and civilians in the Lillianquist family collection of Civil War photographs at the Library of Congress. His and other portraits are available to the public on the library's website, loc.gov. The Lillianquist family collection of Civil War photographs was built by Tom Lillianquist and his sons Jason, Brandon, and Christian, and was donated to the Library of Congress in 2010. It contains nearly 1,300 ambrotype and tintype portrait photographs of Union soldiers, Confederate soldiers, civilians, and others who lived during the time of the American Civil War. Many of these photographs are small enough to be held in one hand or carried in a loved one's pocket, and they allow us to come face to face with the real men and women of the Civil War. The Lillianquist Collection also offers a glimpse at the library's vast Civil War holdings in a variety of media and subject matter. Photos of musicians compel us to investigate the music of the era. Other photos lead us to research maps, broadsides, letters from the battlefront, and even the envelopes in which those letters were sent. The photographs in the Lillianquist family collection are primary sources, the raw materials of history, and they have particular power for students and teachers. Working with primary sources can engage students, prompt them to ask critical questions, and encourage them to do further research. More information on effective strategies for using primary sources in the classroom can be found at the library's website for teachers, loc.gov teachers. The library also has a wealth of teacher resources, from primary source sets, to biographical essays, to lesson plans, the library has a number of options available for teachers who wish to put the Lillianquist family collection to practical use. Portrait photography helps students, teachers, and anyone with a little historical curiosity to access the past. The faces that can be found in the Lillianquist family collection of Civil War photographs invite us to understand the world of the Civil War as more than battles and politics. They awaken the lived realities of history so that we may come to see it, hear it, and even hold it in our hands. And those windows to the past are available to all at the Library of Congress. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.